Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will talk about oxygen stable isotope and glaciation. Stable isotope studies are mostly done on the basis of delta value. And what does this mean for a sample? Delta of heavy isotopes stands for by how much the sample contains more or less of the heavy isotope with respect to its standard value. In case of oxygen isotope, the standard value is standard mean ocean water, which is assigned a value of 0 parts per mil. Now we will see how the delta O18 values are used to study glacial and interglacial periods. Water that can have O18 or O16 in the ocean when evaporates, more of water with heavy isotope stays in the ocean. It does not mean that all of H2O18 will stay in the ocean because isotopic fractionation is never ideal. When the cloud forms and precipitates again, more of H2O18 comes down, being the heavier one. And since it falls back to the ocean, the ocean becomes more and more enriched in O18 isotope. And O16 precipitates and forms glaciers when temperature goes down. So the glaciers become depleted in O18 isotopes. From ocean, the oxygen-18 isotope is taken up by marine organisms to form cell or tests. That causes an increase in O18 isotope in their cell during glacial periods. So when we study the ice cores, it will be less, it goes to even negative. While during interglacial periods, O18 value in the cells of marine organisms goes down and in ice cores it goes up. Studying these two elements, the ice cores and cells of marine organisms, we can conclude whether it was an interglacial or glacial period. That is all for today. Thank you. Stay subscribed to enjoy more such videos.